What's happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics. And today, for the first time ever on the channel, which seems insane, and I'll share that with you in a minute, we got brand new in a song battle, Jesus Christ versus the boy who blocked his own shot. Brought to us by our friend and supporter, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons who make this thing go. If you'd like to support us in any way, check out that Patreon link below or the patron link on the end screen. We couldn't do it without the patrons. Check it out. If you want a free trial, go down there and click on that link. But, uh, you know... Become a patron supporter. We can do a lot of things for you. And this helps this channel and keeps it going, man. All right. So my partner in crime on this channel, Trey, when he was younger, especially in his teen years, he really pushed into brand new music and absolutely loved him. He's been to four or five of their concerts, went to their last concert ever that happened here in Dallas and just really resonated with them. He's going through a lot of things in his life at the time, health-wise. And I just never listened to brand new. I don't know why. I mean, they're not... They're, they're, Albums and stuff have a lot of strings, but they're not real well known at all in the mainstream. Um, but we did an album draft back in 2022 where we listened to, you know, all kinds of albums from every single year, 1965 through the current last year, 2023, when I'm filming this. Um, and in those, we picked the top 10 albums from each year. And I listened to Brand New's album, Brand New's albums for the first time. So good. So good. So I've heard both these songs, but I don't remember either one of them really because I was listening to 30 to 40 albums for each year, and I was doing that in a week. So I'm very excited to go back and revisit these. So first up, we got Jesus Christ from The Devil and God Are Raging Inside Me back in 2006. Many believe this is their best album. Tour mate and friend of the band, Kevin Devine, who opened for a lot of their concerts, reflected on the first time he heard this track, praising it as, quote, the best song brand new has ever written, emotionally, educationally, intellectually, structurally, in every way. That is really high praise. Now, he might have liked stuff they wrote later on, but uh, I'm going to have the lyrics up as always. Thanks again, Andrew. Went down the side of land 
Jesus Christ, what a fantastically written song. I'm a Christian. I know Jesse Lacey, who wrote this song, the band leader of Brand New, or was the band leader of Brand New, anyway. They were still around. He was raised in a Christian, I think, school, but he kind of stepped away from his faith a little bit. But you see, he's still, he's still in that faith of to some extent. And, and just the way he puts it, it's about questioning whether he'll be saved or not, but also just his loneliness here on earth. Afraid he might go to heaven, but none of his friends will be there because he doesn't have any friends. Like, Jesus, what did you do in those three days you were away? Because you know, Jesus was crucified on a Friday and raised on a Sunday morning in the Bible and Jewish calendar. That's three days, even though to us it's a day and a half, basically. But um, it's just, it's so good. Well, Jesus Christ, I'm not scared to die, but I'm a little scared of what comes after. Do I get the gold chariot? Do I float through the ceiling? Do I divide and pull apart because my bright is too slight to hold back all my dark? And the ship went down inside of land at the gates to Thomas, Thomas asked to see my hand. So all those, oh, so many biblical allusions there, right? Doubting Thomas wanted to see the the holes in Jesus' hands. He didn't believe that he raised. And so he's asking the same thing here. And then in the in the bridge, I know you've come, you're coming in the well, in the night like a thief, the second coming of Jesus Christ. But, you know, he's saying, I'm, I'm scared. I'll get scared. And I swear I'll try to nail you back up because the unbelievers crucified Jesus because they were scared of what he was saying, obviously. So, but we all, I, I know you're coming for people like me, but we all got wooden nails. We turn, turn out hate in factories. We all got wooden nails and we sleep inside of this machine. I mean, these lyrics are so deep and the song is arranged so well. Man, the song is great. But now we go to a song that I know a lot of brand new fans think is their greatest song. The Boy Who Blocked His Own Shot off the Deja and Tondu album in uh, 2003, their second album. And I, I picked this album incredibly high. Well, both these albums went incredibly high in our album draft. Spoiler alert, but yeah. you less sad I will die by your hand Hope you find out what you want Already know what I am And if it makes you less sad we we'll start talking again You can tell me how far Already know that I am I'm betting I'm not 
not I'm glad that you can forgive Only hoping as time goes You can forget So you can So fragile and thin Standing trial for your sins Holding on to yourself The best you can You are the smell before rain You are the blood in my veins Call me a safe bed I'm betting I'm not I'm glad that you can forgive Only hoping as time goes, you can forget. The boy who blocked his own shot. So well written. I mean, so the way this song unfolds with Jesse is he's saying he knows what he is, right? He's a bad guy. And he's hurt her and he knows all this, right? And then he says, I'll grow old, start acting my age. So obviously some immature choices. Be a brand new day in a life that you hate. So I'm still going to be in this band. I'm taking a crown of gold, a heart that's harder than stone. It hurts a whole lot, but it's missed when it's gone. And then the chorus, call me a safe bet. I'm betting I'm not. I'm glad that you can forgive. Only hoping as time goes, you can forget. So forgiving and forgetting are two different things, right? Forgive you for what you did, but I'm not going to forget. And so constantly in this girl's mind, she's thinking, is he going to do all this stuff again? If it makes you less sad, I'll move out of the state. You can keep to yourself. I'll keep out of your way. If it makes you less sad, I'll take your pictures all down. Every picture you paint, I will paint myself out. But then he starts to turn this song from I'm a bad guy to maybe this was your fault. That's the way I take this. It's cold as a tomb and it's dark in your room when I sneak to your bed to pour salt in your wounds. So either coming into her mind when she's trying to sleep because he's gone, or even though they're broke up, he thinks he's going to talk his way back into her bed. So call it quits or get a grip. Say you wanted a solution. You just wanted to be missed. So Jesse's really turning this thing. And then the bridge, they go into just a little bit harder on. You are calm and repose with your beauty and full pale white like the skin stretched over your bones. Spring keeps you ever close. You are secondhand smoke. You are so fragile and thin, standing trial for your sins, holding on to yourself the best you can. You are the smell before rain. You are the blood in my veins. So he's still putting it on her, but then he's saying like, you're it for me. And then just finishes off with that chorus, right? Call me a safe bet. I'm betting I'm not. I'm glad that you can forgive me. Hoping as time goes, you can forget. Just like Jesus Christ, this song is so well done. Songwriting, arrangement, and Andrew, I'm mad at you. How can you do this to me? I don't know what to pick. This is one of the toughest song battles I have ever done on this channel. And that's saying some, I don't know how many battles we have. I wouldn't even guess. 200, 300? Probably more, even. Probably four or five hundred. I don't know. This is one of the toughest ones ever. I almost don't want to pick a winner, but I have to pick a winner. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'll regret this as soon as this video is over, whatever I pick. I'm going to go with Jesus Christ at like 50.1% against the boy who blocked his own shot at 49.9%. I don't know, man. I'm going to need your help brand new community out there. Let me know who you think won this battle. What's your favorite album by Brand New? But what's your favorite song? Is it one of these? Is it something else? Thanks again to Andrew for bringing this one. And until next time, guys, I will see you.